I'm finding it interesting how they're rolling out L5 though. Does anyone else? Cause like, I don't know. We've never seen something like this before where one, we don't even know if he's actually 100% signed to Cardi or Opium or whatever. So he could very well, and it seems like he is just with all of the facts that's been going on. Like he's got the exclusive merch. So he's we wearing Ken Carson's merch. Uh, the, the great chaos although that might even be for sale at this point. So maybe that's like nothing Maybe he just paid 60 bucks or 100 bucks to get the merch And then but he's got the antagonist tour merch right there, which I don't think has released but then again, you could technically just Buy that or, or like make it on Etsy or something like make your own so we don't I don't know we don't really know but it also does make sense that he's from the same hood, Atlanta. I don't know what hood, okay? That's not my forte here. I am not street. I am not from Atlanta, so I don't even know what type of... Somebody's gonna come out here again and try and fact check me. Bro is from uh, Southside 64th neighborhood. I'm not, not where you're saying. I don't fucking know, but still. So, but the thing is, opium... I feel like when they promote themselves slash roll out albums or roll out a new artist, it it is almost like super mysterious. You kind of just see them around with Cardi or you see the see things pop out. You never really it's never really the artists themselves posting the merch but like on their own page to kind of indicate that they're signing to somebody but maybe since he's a street artist like they're not even trying to be super secret about it because it's just a whole different way of marketing that we don't really understand or like maybe the street side of things don't really care for all the antics they just want to know are you signed to opium and like he's like yeah i got all this shit here but not once have we like with loan he dropped that miley cyrus music video I was watching it on stream and people were like, yo, he's signing to, he signed to Opium or he already did. And I'm like, where's the confirmation? And it's always like a, like a halfway, like we don't really know, but we're pretty sure. Same thing with Ken Carson, those pictures posted up with, actually they leaked their surface where it was, we thought it was his cousin and it, there was a mirror pick. And then all of a sudden we saw Yale drop and academics post and says it's like Cardi's artist. And then later on, it kind of gets more and more affiliated with Cardi. But with L5, it's like, uh, and Cardi was listening to his music, but like that could be, I don't know. They could just be using all that as ammo to market him. And if he did that and he's not signed to Opium, then he's a genius. Cause Glock 40 Spaz, we already saw how he did that. Ran off with the whole Cardi co or not even Cardi co sign. It was Opium baby. Then used that to sign to Columbia for who knows how, no how much money. And now he's one of the hottest rappers in the underground or like upcoming, you know, uh niche and but now he's in jail so he can't really capitalize on it but glock 40 spaz is probably one of the most popular when he's out he's gonna be he's gonna be killing it so is the ginger monster long ready for me and carty my god bro bro got his allowance but now he's using it for that is young boy gonna be on carty's album i mean given that they said 004 kt or whatever I could see Youngboy being on the project because maybe that's what that was indicating rather than like a whole collab tape of 004 KT. Maybe it just meant like he was on the album that because Cardi the whole time has been working on a new album, right? Since 20 late 2020. So that again, that could have just been meant that they were locked in the studio and they made a couple songs that might make it on the project but knowing him who really knows what's going down because he's with kanye so he might even yeah i feel like young boy is the status though although i feel like he's gotten less relevant on the internet although he's still one of the most popping artists but like cardi's kind of actually cardi's way above him at least in status if you ask me so like he's gonna be working with the kanye's the drake's the the Travis's, the Uzi's, the the Weekends, right? Did I already say him? So I don't know. And he's working with Pharrell. Like putting NBA Youngboy in your project, I feel like that's like I just think he's mid, bro. I just think like everything, all this, all all his songs sound the same to me. 
So I don't know why he put him on there. Although, again, Cardi just might fuck with him personally and maybe has nothing to do with music whatsoever. He just gave him a chain because he's like, yo, you're street. I want street people around me to protect me and I want all the affiliations of 4KT. And <laughs> I mean, that's basically what he did with Homicide Gang, right? He signed Homicide Gang, two, two artists in that gang. And now he got 40 people, 40, 40 soldiers ready to, to do whatever he, he tells them to do, send out hits and shit, just by signing two artists and making them successful. And now they can like pass bread back to the people and make sure everybody's good in their hood. Tyler had Young Boy on an album and a love song, and he went crazy. Yeah, I think I remember that. I think I like that song too. Just because I say sometimes or a lot of times an artist is mid does not necessarily mean that I mean like all their songs are mid. Just personally, I think Young Boy, most of it. But the thing is, he drops so much music that it's really hard for me to even like distinguish because you gotta get through 20 songs just to get to something where I'm like, okay, this snaps, but like all this mid like there's too it's too much bro i can't keep up with it and then cardi posted young boy a couple days ago yeah i mean but he was posting everybody you know he's he's posting a fan he's posting a fan